the comp in general, whereas EG are just opting for Zoe Ezreal plus some other champions, basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it has the bones of a poke comp, but uh, lots of engage as well. And the Gwen is just a strong generalist pick. I know that a lot of people think you have to like, you know, you want to dive backline or whatnot, but with the immunity, you can actually play on the front line quite a bit. And this is the first Zoe for JoJo this year. It's a top to bot clear. Um, it looks like they're gonna give this level two up. Oh, very Ooh. nice. Q that, that's big problems, Danny. Getting ignited. Volku with a good save, but it's not enough. Blackhead finds first blood. There we go, G2 popping off again right away with the Pike Targamus. D pick off is so well set up here by G2. So you can see what I was talking about. They, they want to sack level two. They, they do back off the wave, but they're just not comfortable with how far the engage range of a Pike can actually be with the. But again, Anything in EG dodge that gank is 2v1 in the bottom side because Yankos is joining Ooh. in and Flacken gets kill number two. All right, I think Dan constantly shift all the pace around is beautiful to watch, and this coverage by Yankos is exactly that. It's it's an understanding of player psychology more than a little use of the, the wall there to get a little bit longer range. Look like for Targamus as Broken Blade. Oh, here's that there's the Galio, an impact is going to be trapped. The W actually stops a knockoff, and impact's going to keep on going, but Gwen is not immune enough. Impact is going to run back towards the enemy tower, and who's going to get the kill is the only thing left to decide, and the gold goes to Broken Blade. Nicely, if EG's not sacking the dragons, you're not going to be forced to contest a soul point or anything like that. And you can go for these kind of split up fights like this. Okay, Caps can't come, but I don't think it's going to matter. Yanko should have enough, but indeed he will. And now Targobus is already here, and Spy and Vulcan far too late to this play. Yep, if they had the right read on it, just a little too slow to get there. Yanko's had the inside track. Targamus showed up around the same time as Inspired Vulcan, but by that point, Impact's already dead. That means that they get to take a couple plates off this turret, drop this Rift Herald, funnel some more gold into Broken Blade, and this is the concern as they actually go in. All right, they're gonna go for it. There's the combo. Vulcan finds two with the knuckle after the ulti. Jojo's moving on in. Broken Blade is low, and there is Inspired with the double kill. An opportunity to answer back. A little bit of greed by G2 in the top lane, trying to get that Rift Herald charge off, and not respecting the Jojo Pune and Rome, but Caps is gonna answer on the bot side. Danny is trapped between a rock and a turret. Yep, and a Galio. As Danny is just gonna get 1v1. Yeah, Flacken just takes it, doesn't even need the assistance. Caps holds the ulti. Danny goes down. So still the mid lane up, and I just love using second Herald to break mid lane oh, turret if I can. That is such an important part for map control. 3v3, it's fine the rush trying to set the trap. There's the ulti out of Ezreal, but that's not enough damage on the Yankos, and Danny is getting 1v1. Inspired got one, but he goes down on the other side, and Broken Blade has already finished off the Camille, and now Jojo has to contest with his Kai'Sa, but the sleep is just so they can run away. Bottom side, Impact's doing what he can on the tower, but G2 still... It's okay, he's also an on player, so he's got it all. You can do both. Very well rounded. <laughs> find you a top laner who can do both. Well, DC certainly have found that. Vulcan in the mid lane trying to get him to Flacken, but that's a beautiful supercharger away. And now the kill is going to come. Flacken finds it there as Vulcan. Going to go down. And with that, they're going to have pressure in the mid lane. You have to assume Yankos might drop the Rift Herald here. It is going to get used to finalize this turret. See Caps in a little bit of a weird spot here. Yeah, that is level 12. Everfrost is nice. Danny shifts in on Flacken. Oh, no! Whoa. Comes on in, scoops one up. TP's coming on through and Broken Blade. Thought about the dive, holds it this time, but G2 find two and the mid tower as well as the Herald gets used. Who's baiting who? Caps looks like he's out of position. Oh, he's okay. not over. back in again. Baited, it's just so easy. Flacken, six kills, man. Dominating in this game. Strong they are. Starts first with Vulcan again. Going in, gets baited. Just too clean by Flacken. Too easy. Just pop the E, walk out of that. And then they get that return kill. And then here's Caps. You think he's caught out of position. You think he might be in trouble, but it was a pretty nice Everfrost as well. When Danny sh shifts in, he's already rooted. He kind of buffered his own CC to be caught out in the front line. So it's very easy for Flacken to actually go and get that kill there. Uh, and now he's he's at that Kaisa level, you know, where you just pop R, pop Q. Someone's deleted instantly. Yep. Uh, definitely a defendable purchase as Broken Blade. A little loopsy. My man. In the EG jungle. I was singing your praises. <laughs> I was trying to hype you up, that's, dude. That's why he died. Like, I think it's one thing to be like, oh, they, you know, they play quickly. And like, the answer is they play quickly sometimes. But they're so good at setting up plays. This is an example. Cap's going to come on in. Cap the TP is going to be a little too late. Impact trying to save the day, but it's not enough. And Jojo now just has to turn tail and run. Yeah, a little bit slow on the TP there. Maybe would have been able Again, credit to G2's creativity around the rift. And Cap's is like, I'm not afraid of you. Maybe you should be afraid of Jojo as well, but the Everfrost is coming down. Impact's gonna try and make it happen. Good interrupt there on the Justice Punch. They will get the kill, but G2 are onto the Baron. Yeah, G2 are on the Baron, but they don't have too much damage on it yet, because we'll get time for EG to get over there and collapse. Took a lot. He's still eating damage to the Baron. The edge will all see. It's almost there, but it's fine to the mix. Now EG is gonna go back through. It's fine. Gets one. It's fine. Gets two. EG 
G2 is gonna get the Baron as well, are you kidding me? G2 at the Baron, they throw back to EG. Oh boy. Caps wants to do the split push. It's very common that it Malter because of the bounty shutdown. So here you see Caps wanting to split push. I was talking about without Broken Blade being at the Baron, it's hard for them to turn. So I understand the lane assignments of put Caps in the bot lane, but that interrupt, making sure they can kill Caps, puts pressure on G2 to start the Baron to get something on the flip side, but they're just not tanky. Their damage wasn't there to actually be on it the entire time, which gives a really easy combo for Inspired and Vulcan to punish them, get those two kills, and right away they're going objective, objective, they cannot stop us. That's the smite down, finish this off. And off the end of this fight, they also grab a ton of gold. You can see the broken blade can't find, you know, uh, the Ezreal in particular. A sleep's gonna happen, EG gonna push forward. Pokemon is very low, but now the re-engage happens. Caps in with the ulti and Spice jumping on through. Georgia's been trying to find it, but he can't get on the back end. GA's gonna proc, but Caps is in the mix and impact. He's actually found Targumus. They're gonna find Caps as well. Vulcan sacrifice for the cause. And EG are gonna take three in him. But I don't know if he can find the space. Broken Blade going back in, but now dashes back out. Danny aggressively far forward, yank off the target. Inspired gonna get killed off though. Blackhead finds the kill, that's gonna delay it. EG have to leave. Nicely played defense there by G2, baiting them in and out. Targamas is in hot pursuit, doesn't want to let them out. Yep, the U of EG are maybe in a spot of bother. Jojo doesn't get trolled by Banshees, they took that one out. EG. He's gonna keep running. Danny's just gonna fight. He has to try and kill Targamus. Here's the TP in from EG. They're gonna try and protect the lads. Here comes Vulcan. Look at his support. The team is gonna give up his life, but Impact's here as well now. Impact now gonna let it rip. He takes out Caps. They get another Broken Blade falls. EG. They find the counter counter play. Who is baiting who? Pastry time. The flash. Staggered as we'll watch this play again. This was saving Private Danny. I mean, I, I, EG. Yeah, you can feel both teams getting a little loosey goosey here. Vulcan stopping Broken Blade from collapsing with the initial part of his charge while Vulcan did not actually get the the charm on the Galio he still was able to stop him from getting out and that allowed them to have some targets to kill those double kills going back in their favor the the, the G2 reach behind I guess is the time and time don't, again don't let him near it yeah. don't let him anywhere near the dragon pit if you can help it is EG gonna look to take down this mid in him should be able to get it here the Baron cannons are gonna have enough there's a good sleep on the target, but they are gonna go for it! No, they are! Vulcan dives in, but he whips completely! Oh, no. And now G2 are gonna find the counter punch. Danny, he's gonna get jumped over Impact! It's ripping through the rest of G2! Impact is trying to carry the team over the finish line! And Blackett's gonna be the next target! They take him down! Inspired, though, now the only one left alive! And G2 are gonna get an ace! I think, yeah, Broken Blade's got it, Inspired's dead! That's an ace for G2! Battle of the top laners, Broken Blade comes out on top with the carry, out of nowhere, 7, 3, and 4. The engage by EG King. Watch this one again. So, this Drowsy on Deflacken was good, but I think he was invisible for a portion of time, and so maybe Vulcan didn't actually know where he was for the engage, and by the time he can go in, it's too late. This opens up the counter engage. Absolutely monstrous by Broken Blade. No help from Galio there, just getting on top of Danny, threatening him. Like we said, before impact was good on the other side of the fight, kind of winning it with both backlines obliterated. Broken Blade was just a little bit faster on it, and this elite impact with the charged up Q uh, was able to win that fight right there. And Inspire doing what he can, but not a fair fight. Yeah, yep. uh, their comp with this extra damage can absolutely delete someone instantly. So even with the frozen heart of Danny, I don't think he'll be safe if Broken Blade is able to get on top of him cleanly with caps. It's about who's got better hands right now. EG trying to find the engage. They're going to go back in. Danny going to get jumped on caps here as well. I think they interrupted him, though, with Danny. He's cutting it out, but he can't do any more in EG. They have to fight through all the stasis. They have to fight through everything. And Jankos is going to rip Impact apart. Vulcan's got nothing. Jojo's got nothing. And G2, I think they've won the game. The fight goes their way as they get another ace. It's an ace for G2. Broken Blade turning back in. He jumps onto Danny. And rather than kite, EG go onto the enemy back line. They go try and assassinate G2. G2 totally out team fight them there. Five for zero in their favor. They're pushing in bot lane. 40 seconds for JoJo, 30 for Danny. They should be able to end the game off that, but it is a very long push. This is what I was talking about with map state being in EG's favor, even with the win one fight. G2 are gonna have to get there, but they should have this one. Yeah. I said they were gonna go 3-0 before, maybe cast a curse them a little bit, but this time it should actually be the end of the game. 10 seconds before anyone else comes up. Yeah, 5v0, a pretty easy fight to win here for G2. It was very dicey after that Baron, but G2 hold on to their undefeated record as Vulcan will respawn to watch the Nexus fall.
Everyone hail King Broken Blade in the top lane. Woo! Oh boy, just when everything started going off the rails, back-to-back -back fights for Broken Blade.